here is the Arduino Uno. Here is the One Shield Plus. These are lead wires. These are the cycling gloves and the armband. The cycling gloves will hold the two sensors and the armband will hold the Arduino and One Shield. Here are the ultrasonic sensors. And down here is a 9 volt battery adapter that will uh, power on the Arduino Uno. I will also use a smartphone that has the One Shield application to make it all work. I am quickly organizing the cables by color and will start soldering. Unlike the other cables that only go point to point, the black and red cable need three ends, so I am soldering three different wires together to make a three point branch. Remember when you are soldering to open a window or a door so that you do not breathe the solder smoke. And also be careful because that solder is hot. Holding it up, you can see the three directions. So here is the Arduino. This is the one shield. Notice how these pins are longer than the bottom here. So this is gonna be the top and eventually I'm going to put this one shield on top of the Arduino. So that's the first part. Then these cables are going to line up here according to the map and I'll show you that in the next step. This is the wire map. So I will connect these colors from the one shield to the sensors. I have the map on the TV as a reference. So the orange cable goes into pin 10. The blue cable goes into pin 11. The gray cable goes into pin 12. And the yellow cable goes into pin 13. Now, these four wires will split into two directions. The yellow and gray wire go into the left sensor, and the orange and blue cable go into the right sensor. The red and black wires go into three different directions, which is why I needed to solder first. Both the red and black cable plug into the one shield and connect to the left and the right sensor. These pin configurations are all set up in the C++ code, which we will go over in the next step. Now it is time to alter the code and flash the Arduino. I already have the Arduino sketch program installed, so I will quickly attach the one shield header and add some configurations. These additional lines will connect the one shield hardware to the one shield application on your smartphone as well as the one shield to the sensors. This will enable text-to-speech and allow the application to verbally alert us when a physical object is near. Now that the C++ code is verified, I plugged the Arduino into the computer to flash the firmware. Once the red text appears, that means success. Now it's time to test the prototype. I am unplugging it from the computer and plugging in the battery adapter. Just gonna grab my phone to launch the app. Fingers crossed. Stop now and rotate. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Stop now and rotate. Stop now and rotate. Stop now and rotate. Go forward. Stop. Go forward. Stop now and rotate. Stop now and rotate. Stop now and rotate. Path is clear. Path is clear. Caution, obstruction ahead. Caution, obstruction ahead. Path is clear. 